Hi there. Firstly, I want to thank the people that have taken the time to watch my videos and then they've sent me an email saying that they've got something from it. I really want to thank anyone that's done that because it helps inspire me to keep the videos going, to keep learning, to help share my message and and all the wisdom that I've gained over the years. So thank you for that. Now this video is about writing a thank you note. So that means someone in your life, and it doesn't have to be someone immediately in your life. It can be someone from your past that you know something they did has had a really positive impact on your life. And sit down and write them a note, a heartfelt note as what, is, what it has meant for you that they have contributed to your life in such a way and the difference it's made. So immediately someone comes to mind and, and this lady has three times had a massive impact in my life in what seems to be quite an insignificant way. So going way back, way back, um, probably over 20 years ago was the first time. And at this time I had severe back pain and I had been going to chiropractors all the time and, and, and um, I would get small relief but nothing would change. Anyway, this person gave me a book, Louise Hayes, Love Yourself, Heal, Heal Your Life. And I remember reading it and going, oh yeah, what a load of rubbish, and I threw it away. But what was interesting, I just threw it into the back room. And a couple of years later, I come across this book and I read it again. Now, the second time I read it, I remember reading all of my family's ailments. Because what this book does, it can help us find some of the emotional components behind physical pain and illness. So I read it, and of course it was perfect for mum. It's like, yes, yes, yes. Dad, yes, 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 yes. Other other family members, yes, yes, yes. So I'm like, how can it be so wrong for me? So then when, when I read it more, I really understood actually it's right for me as well. And I changed a few things. And, and to be honest, I've never had back pain since. I, I had one little tweak once and it had to do with the same problem. So what that does though, what that has done for me from that moment to this moment, because my back pain disappeared. They told me I had scoliosis of the spine, that I, I had um, vertebrates that would, I don't know whether the vertebrates are the, all this stuff. What it did was it showed me that our physical ailments can have an emotional component to it. So that's what I've, and, and to this day, when I'm working with people all over the world to do with their, their physical pain or their emotional pain, I am looking at this book to see what the body is trying to tell us. I, I use a different book now, it's The Secret Language of the Body, but if someone comes with, to me with cancer, I'm looking at, okay, what emotion could be behind that? And that all started from that over 20 years ago, that book I was given. Then this same person said to me, would I like to work, do youth work? And I'm like, no. And, and this, this person said, but every time you're at a party, you're talking to the teenagers. And I'm like, oh, I love to talk to teenagers. I love, I love teenagers. She said, well, would you like to work with teenagers? I said, you get me a job working with teenagers and I'll do the job once again. Within a week, I had an interview and within two weeks, I was a youth worker and I was working with the residential, within a residential unit. And that evolved and evolved until I was an educational liaison support officer working in a complete shire, anyone getting expelled or suspended, I would work with them, all from that one comment. Then this very same person, years later, I was taking photography as a hobby and I was taking my sister's um, children as part of, they were my models and I would take these photos. She's seen the photos, she, was, she is my, my sister's girlfriend and she 
said that she wanted me to take her wedding photos and I'm like no 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 I don't I don't do wedding photos <laughs> no no I just enjoy taking it so she went about not getting a wedding photographer and as it got closer and closer she was like well if you don't take photos I'm going to um, not have a wedding photographer so um, she was very persuasive <laughs> persuasive so in the end I took her wedding photo uh, wedding photos and she went and showed her hairdresser the photos. Her hairdresser really, really loved the photos. So the hairdresser come to me and said, would you? And I'm like, no, 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 I don't do wedding ph photography. I just, it's just a hobby. It's a... Anyway, you know the drill. I ended up doing her wedding photos. All of her bridesmaids were unmarried. They all wanted me to do their wedding photos. So before long, I'm a wedding photographer. And I really enjoyed it. What I enjoyed most about that was the connection with the bride. You are the one that spends all of the time with the bride. And uh, for many of them, their happiest day of their life. And that's a really special moment to share with someone. So over time, I ended up not doing that anymore. But um, only because the youth work was getting really busy and the... And, and the um, the photography wasn't, I made a choice to follow my heart, which was definitely the youth work. So this is a tribute to Sonia. Sonia really has had a massive impact on my life. And I will write that letter to her, but I just wanted to tell you to find, maybe that it doesn't have to be three times. That's a really massive thing for one person to do. I, I see the direction she has taken my life in, and I'm working with people today because of what Sonia did. So maybe there's someone out there that has done that special something for you that has had an impact on your life and maybe it's time that you wrote them a thank you note.